Right, so here we are. Uh, I'm not playing the scenario, so we're going to ignore all of that rubbish at the moment. Um, sit on the outside. We might as well have a look at something very pretty. This is the Duchess. You can get this in the Steam sale. Um, what we're going to have a look at is the F5 view. Now I'm going to get rid of the map and stuff so that you can see it. Let me um, F4. So turn the HUD off and then press F5 twice. Oh, you can see the HUD, okay. You can see it on the top left corner there. You might need to um, look really, really closely to try and find it. But in the top left corner, when you press you press F5 and it, you can see the, as I press it, it, it cycles through it. So you press F5. In the top one it says fire mass on a steam engine. It's currently sitting at 1447 pounds. Now if I, and you can see the steam generation rate and what that's doing. So that's a 2565. Now what you want to do to get the ideal fire mass is get the, um, f um, you f coal up until the steam generation rate starts going down. The idea with getting the ideal fire mass is as you put more coal in it, um, so the, um, it is able to generate more steam. So if I start coaling up now, you can see the steam generation rate is now going up. Fire mass is going up. All right, don't worry about the, that. That's the steam usage rate is going to be affected by that. So the important thing is not to move. Okay, don't move. Change nothing in the way the loco works, because otherwise any change you make can affect the steam generation rate. Keep everything the same. Coal up. Get the steam generation rate going up, and now you'll see. As we go, it's just going up and up and up. So we just wait a minute. See you later, Deadly Dorito. So still going up. 2628 now on the generation rate. Fire mass is just over 1500. So it's creeping up, creeping up. And then at some point, it starts plummeting. Now, the way that the steam generation rate works according to fire mass is it's a triangle. So as you but as you build up, yeah, so that you can see it. So as you build the fire mass up, so the steam generation rate goes up. When you get to the top, it starts going down the other side again, and it starts going down. So as you put more fire mass in, so it goes up, and then it comes down again. So what you're waiting for is to find that peak, and then when it starts going down. Ed has just told us it's at 1687, so let's see if we come to the same answer by figuring it by doing it this way. So what I would generally do is when I get a new steam engine, I just sit here and do this, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, until the steam generation rate comes down. Um, once that's figured out, then you restart the scenario, knowing that that's actually what your target ideal fire mass is, if you want to get the absolute most out of the loco. You don't always want to do that, though, um, because when you're driving a steam train, you know, you'll see the safety's going off like crazy at the moment. Um, and that's because I'm generating loads of waste steam at the moment that I'm not using. So if you're going down a hill, you do not need to be doing this. So we're still going up steam generation rate. We're just past 16.15. Shift Z shows your FPS, Simon Lund. 16.26, still going up on the generation rate. So if we keep waiting, the, the other thing you can do is you can go into the blueprint files and figure it out and, and just um, decode the blueprint files and find it out. If you don't want to do that or don't uh, or just um, don't know how to, this is the way you do it in the game. 1650 with steam generation rate is still going up. It's still going up. 1687.